So a big story today is that Snoop Dogg, famous rapper, icon, etc., is joining FaZe Clan. FaZe Clan, a fairly well-known esports organization. They have a lot of gamer social media influencers with millions and millions of followers. A lot of people know about them on YouTube. So anyway, Snoop Dogg is joining them. He's supposedly going to be on their board of directors, blah, blah, blah. It's also worth uh, mentioning that FaZe Clan has a bunch of other celebrities who are affiliated with them, like LeBron James and Offset. Anyways, what is all of this about? Is this just so that FaZe Clan and Snoop Dogg can get a larger audience, so Snoop Dogg can tap into their audience, they can tap into Snoop Dogg's audience, and everyone can get more publicity? Well, something like that, but I think it's more tied into FaZe Clan going public via a SPAC, a reverse merger with a public shell company, and that's supposed to be happening in the spring of 2022, so that's very soon. So they want a lot of hype. They want, obviously, their stock price to go up after they go public via SPAC. So I think the main thing to note right now, especially for a younger audience who is acquainted with FaZe Clan, possibly also Snoop Dogg and all this other kind of stuff, they're into gaming. Wow, FaZe Clan, they're going to have a public company. That sounds like a great investment, right? Maybe not. Who knows? The big down... Well, for starters, right now, it's a very, very volatile time in the stock market. Lots of uncertainty all around even with well-established companies. So a new company, an IPO, a SPAC, anything, that would be like very weird territory right now. So unlike an IPO, there's not going to be rigorous financial disclosures and all kinds of internal information that is revealed. SPACs are a lot more private, even though it's supposedly some form of a public offering or whatever. You don't have the same kind of access to business information, financial information. There's a lot more that could be hidden. And that is why it's more dangerous. It's more volatile when you're investing in a SPAC. Now, what I see happening in this situation, which is similar to other SPACs, is that when they first, you know, when the merger is completed, it's going to be very volatile. The stock is going to be pumped and pumped and pumped. And then what happens? It gets pumped. It gets dumped. You do not want to be on the receiving end when it is dumped. And especially with a SPAC like this, with a company like this, with all of this online social media buzz, all these celebrities involved, you could easily see this getting extremely pumped in the beginning. And then there's going to be a lot of very sad bag holders. And unfortunately, with a company like this, I could easily see the bag holders being a lot of younger people who do not have that much experience with investing or anything like that. Now, I'm not saying you couldn't conceivably make money on you know, their stock or whatever. You can make money. You can make a fortune on any stock, even the shittiest stock, even a stock that is pumped and dumped as long as the timing is right, blah, 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 like, you know. It can be done, definitely. But in general, you would be wise to steer clear of these kinds of situations because there is a huge, huge downside. And that downside could happen at any moment because generally speaking with situations like this, you're going to see all of the initial investors, the various phase members, whoever their backers are, maybe some of these celebrities. You know, these celebrities are enticed because it's like, oh, you join this. We're going to give you X amount of shares. This is what we project, you know, the starting price is going to be blah, blah, blah. The price is going to be around here. Everyone's like, hey, great. I'll do the marketing for this business, whatever. And I'll just sell my shares. Sometimes there's a lockup period. Sometimes there isn't. So no one really knows. But the main thing is behind the scenes, people are going to be trying to get out of this. They're going to be trying to make some money. And they're going to make money off of the people, the random public investors, kids, college students, whoever is investing in the stock. So buyer beware of this situation, as is true in any situation. And again, it's not to say that the stock won't go up for a period of time. Maybe it'll go up a lot. However, who knows what the financials are behind whatever this company is? 
all of the people who are associated these social media stars celebrities whatever obviously they're generating a lot of money but you have to think about how is this company generating money how much how much money does this company have what about the officers of this company obviously you know there's a lot of question marks here as a group as a quote unquote group they've done quite well online they have a lot of social media influence but how are they doing as a business what do their business financials look like what what do the projections look like there's a lot of uncertainty with this they're individually making money but as a company as a business organization do they know how to steer this in a direction to make more and more money